What is going on, guys? We are back. Time to make some changes. We're back on the 49ers franchise. It's your boy, Jonu Smith, of course. Halfback, Orleans, Darkwa. Joey Cummings is our starting running back. Can't happen again where we don't have that in the correct spot. But we do have some XP to use. As Kalan Adkins has moved down on the depth chart. I want him at my number four. We're going to move up route running so that happens. Or maybe awareness would be the best. But I think route running is going to be the most useful. He goes up to a 67 and that he would be best suited at my four. He's not gonna move though, I want him at the four. We are getting ready to play this game though. It is going to be up against, and I'll probably use his XP before we start. The two and two Chargers also scout a little bit and show you guys what we're looking at so you get a further um, comprehension of what I'm going under. Comprehension's good. So we're looking at left tackles, Trent Brown hasn't exactly had a fantastic season. Of course, looking at cornerbacks, that is a need. We could upgrade at any tackle spot. Not necessarily just a uh, left tackle. There's a couple of good uh, cornerbacks in this draft class, I have to say. We've looked at a few of them. In Darian Clem out of Texas, Hook'em Horns. It's going to be tempting. Spondo Sanders, interesting first name. And Diamond Marion, also interesting. Depending on how fast these guys are, it's pretty much going to depend uh, who's the number one. All right, team is all upgraded. We're ready for this game. Our home opener, unless we started the season with a home game. In which case, it's definitely not. But I can't remember. Who did we even play? I think it might have been... Nah, it was definitely at home. So that was our second game. Back at home. This time against the Los Angeles Chargers. Another California battle. So last video, played the LA Rams. So this should be an interesting one. I do miss playing a candlestick. Granted, it's been a few years since that's actually happened. In a game of Madden, we're back. Their returner is going to be Mason... And he is going to make a nice spin move as uh, Aaron Merritt was coming with a full head of steam. Trying to bring him down. Couldn't. Phillip Rivers is still the quarterback of the LA Chargers. And they're going to pass on first down. And he's going to go awesome pass. Travis Benjamin. That's a name I haven't really seen in a while. Gets the first catch of the, gay, of the day. Game. Whatever. It said gay. Yeah, I said gay. Travis Benjamin likes dick. What do you want from me? Oh my goodness. Melvin Gordon. Dawson Bailey made a touchdown saving tackle potentially. Melvin Gordon made a fantastic move to get to the outside there. By the way, me saying that Travis Benjamin liking dick, that's not gay slander. You're gay if you think it's slander. Being gay is fine, you know? You, know, you got, got gay guys, but if you guys are the homophobes, you think that's an insult. All right, second and inches. Might be a run here. Looks like it's a play-action pass. I'm stuck on a block. Looks like it's an incompletion, though. Third and inches. This is almost certainly a run. Question is, can we rise to the occasion and shut it down? It's a pass. And I left my zone. Oh, my goodness. Huge hit from Quan Alexander. Hunter Henry holds on. That's unfortunate. Another second and inches situation. Is this going to be another play-action pass? I'm caught on a block, and that's right where I should have been. Obi Melifon will lays a hit. That is caught. Keenan Allen. That's right where I should have been, probably. I mean, that would have been pretty far to drop back. But I keep getting caught on blocks when I drop down to play the run, and it's a play action. They've been destroying with that thus far. And I'm trying to pinch the line, and they are not pinching. Aaron Lynch going to make a fantastic play, though. Got to play to stop the run. There the line finally pinches. And uh, a run to the left side would not be good here. We are not equipped to handle that. It's up the middle, though. And no one even comes close to touching Melvin Gordon. He's running at like 30% speed. Ugh, man, that's so tough. Aaron Merritt, by the way, is back returning kicks instead of Joey Cummings now. We're trying to get him involved. He's a playmaker. We want to get the ball in his hands. Makes plays on defense, but uh, trying to get him a little bit more involved in the game. Is Orleans Dark with starting? Are you fucking kidding me again? Again with this shit? I changed my depth chart. All right. We're going to give the ball to him, though. And uh, that is wrapped up very quickly. Might have been Tony Palapoy there. I'm not really sure. Nope. Fields. Joey Cummings now into the game. Maybe he hits that gap a little bit faster. But again, who is this on the defensive line? No space to run. Third and seven. Looking for Josh Gordon on a quick slant here. And Josh Gordon actually holds on. Jaleel Adai. Jaleel Adai. Came up there, uh, made a really nice tackle 
That was a very dangerous throw to make with him coming up there. We went for it anyway. We're going to try to run the ball again. We're running the ball back. There's Joey Cummings. Joey Cummings with some space. Joey Cummings stiff arming. Might have had a few more yards if we kept going on the outside there and just try to outrun him. I'm going to throw that ball. Jonu Smith, there's a flag. There's no way after the ball was released, there's a holding. It's going to be third and 27 after the hold. You're kidding me. Who is it? Zach Kubiak, the right guard. They're actually going to give us fourth and inches. Hold on. Let's see if, Let's see how they line up. That ball is essentially over the line. And they're coming out with a weak box. We're going to snap this ball quickly. There it is. Joey Cummings breaks a tackle. Gets the first down with ease. Three rushes, 27 yards. Here we go. That's going to be open across the middle. Jimmy Garoppolo, you have to hit that. I was thrown maybe a little bit too early, but I didn't want to, you know, bait a safety into that or get a safety bait me into that throw. It's going to be third and five. That's tough. These cornerbacks are so good. So we got to take our chances when we can get them. We're going to go over the middle. It's Marquise Goodwin. He gets the first down and a little bit more forward progress is going to be called, called dead there at the 17. I want to give Josh Gordon a jump ball. If you have the opportunity, you might go ahead and throw that ball. We're going to do it. Josh Gordon, make a play. That is nearly intercepted in the end zone. Who is 55? Gerald Hodges Jr. Trying to get Josh Gordon involved a lot, but it's difficult to. We're going to throw that ball. Josh Gordon, make the play. Can't do it. Saw Wesley Woodyard in coverage. Tried to throw at him. And um, not, the ball wasn't exactly on point. We may be blowing another set of downs. We're going to be throwing that ball back end zone. Josh Gordon can't make it the catch. We try him three times in a row on plays where he needs to come up big. And um, we convert on none of them. Flawed game plan there for me. But we do end up settling for the field goal. Um, just took up more time because we had the field goal attempt earlier on fourth and inches. Converted the fourth down attempt. I'm not sure if a cornerback has an interception for this team all year. I don't think we have one to draw. Someone get there. Dawson Bailey going to be able to wrap up Melvin Gordon. He's very close to the first down, though. Maybe third and two it is. All right. Third and two. We're going to play hard flats. Ray Ray Armstrong is back on the field. We got Ruben Foster. We got Quan Alexander. We got our three linebackers. Third and two. We're expecting the run. It's a fullback dive. Eric Armstead makes a tackle, but renew renews the set of downs for the the Chargers there. Okay. They're just literally chewing the clock, running the ball the entire second half. It's working, or second quarter, I should say. We're going after the quarterback. Ruben Foster with the sack. He's putting up defensive player of the year caliber numbers. Only 15 tackles um, in the handful of games. You got to keep in mind. We are usering and playing eight-minute quarters. He's not going to be able to get ten tackles a game when we're usering like that. It's just not feasible. But uh, he has had a really, really good season. A bunch of interceptions. And pressure. Oh, my goodness. Aaron Lynch just went for the career ender. Oh, my goodness. He swan-dived at, <laughs> at Phillip Rivers' knees. Look at him on the outside here. Look at him take flight. Helmet at the right knee of Phillip Rivers. Oh my goodness. Solomon Thomas gets credit for half a sack too. Aaron Lynch with absolutely no regard for human life whatsoever. Tries to end Phillip Rivers' career. <laughs> Play action with the Garoppolo. He's, if he hits that throw, we got room to run. Marquise Goodwin might have a touchdown. Flash Goodwin. End zone. No one's going to catch him. Not Trey Boston. Not Casey Hayward. We're on the board. For the second time today after the field goal, of course. Kind of forgot that that happened. 10-7, Niners. 73 yards on one play. Maybe we should dial that one up more often. We're going to run the ball. Can I get there with Ruben Foster? No, DeForest Buckner makes this tackle, though. I just, I can't shed blocks as a linebacker. I feel like in those situations, I'd be better served Switching off of Ruben Foster and letting the CPU try and make a play for it. We're on Keenan Allen. He's going to go to the flat, though. Rashard Robinson forces Melvin Gordon out of bounds. Aaron Merritt making sure the job gets done. 
man. Really want him to come up with his first pick, though. He was a first-round pick. Still hasn't found his first pick. Ruben Foster destroys Melvin Gordon, who holds on. That was as well as I could have played that situation there. Rip, or Phillip Rivers just timed the pass really well uh, to the running back. Tried to cover two different routes there. Really good play call. Really good timing. Phillip Rivers is going to be a more difficult quarterback to pick off than some of the ones we faced. Uh, I guess not really Russell Wilson and Drew Brees, but he's a better quarterback in the NFL. Tried to bait that one hard. And there's a flag. Tell me that's a hold. Tell me Keenan Allen doesn't have a touchdown. Tell me he doesn't. Keenan Allen thinks it's a touchdown. I think otherwise. Holding on the offense. Number 75, Ja Reed. This one's coming back. Third and 18. We're going to play clouds on this one. We're going to play off. We're going to play off. We're going to back up. Cornerback didn't do what I was saying to do. And that is to Melvin Gordon. I thought I switched on a... Come on, Alexander ran out of the way with Aaron Merritt. Fourth and four. We're going to call a timeout. 41 seconds is enough time to score. They convert on the field goal try, making it 10-10. 38 seconds to the half. Is that Jung Ho Ku? That's not his name. That's that's Jung Ho Gung. That's that's a Jung Ho Ku is his name. I just combined two uh, Asian fellas. Shout out to Wheels. He's Asian, I guess. Decent return, though, up to the 39. I'm going to stop wherever that one was going. Um... 33 seconds, it's possible. We got some speed out there. Kalan Adkins, this is where he really shines. On these plays where he can go deep and go down the field. Kalan Adkins, ball's tipped up and intercepted by Jaleel Adai. Huge hit from Josh Gordon. We were pressured, lobbed the ball up to, um, I mean, at the end of the day, he's 68 overall receiver. And uh, it didn't go well. As we add another interception to Jimmy Garoppolo's total on the year. They're actually going to throw it. We're on that. Easy reads. Ruben Foster. User pick. Easy reads. One fish. Two fish. Red fish. Blue fish. And we could have a field goal try. 60 yards. We do have a lot of wind. Uh, we're going to be able to drill this. 13 mile per hour wins for Robbie Gold. Oh, and we drill it. Robbie, gold, right down the middle. He's golden again. And we're going to go in halftime with a lead. Things, it all worked out. Rolling out with Jimmy Garoppolo. Setting Joey Cummings upfield. And that ball is airmailed. Fucking hell, man. I'm like A lot of these interceptions are my fault. But that one, when you get a receiver open and you throw the ball to him and the ball's airmailed for one reason or another. It's so frustrating. I was on the run there. I guess Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't have that one in his locker, but Aaron Merritt going to wrap up there. He's very good at tackling. It's very frustrating when we keep getting these interceptions where we are, though. He throws it quick to Keenan Allen. I might be able to bait this. It's hard to bait the CPU, though. I'm locked in. I'm literally locked down. That's so annoying. Oh, I'm clearly not locked down in coverage. I got to show you this. I have to. Because this is ridiculous. It, because of the formation we lined up in, it was um, nickel double A gap, and I'm holding back the entire time. Watch this. What? What is that? What is that? What is that step that he does right there? I'm backing up, and he just literally does one of those. I didn't go in at all. And he went down there for a second, as if he's locked in on the left guard. Like, I'm holding back. I'm in coverage. I'm holding back, again, the entire time. Stepping back would have been right there. Instead, we drag down, give him wide open range to catch the ball. That was coverage across the field. He would have been probably open underneath. Maybe Obi had that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like, there's nothing I can do when I'm doing everything right and the game's like, nah, we don't care. We don't care if you're doing everything right. We're just not going to let it happen. Ruben Foster blows it up. No first down for you. Something we don't do enough. Hand the ball off to Joey Cummings. Joey Cummings, daylight! Jatavis Brown not gonna catch him. Trey Boston not gonna catch him. 92 yards to the house. Joey Cummings, dance on him. That's something we don't do enough. Joey Cummings has his hand through the football. That's how hard his grip was on. He shoved his hand through the football. We gotta hand the ball off to him more. He's a guy that makes plays. Cornerback, still yet to get an interception. 
Ruben Foster has kind of a lot on the season. As we're going to get there. Ruben Foster, another tackle for loss. Or for no gain, at least. Not sure how they're going to count that. Third and 12 now. They'll probably just end up checking it down short to Melvin Gordon on a swing. Sounds about right. They're actually going to block him. So that's not possible. We're down the field. He's going to lob it up deep. Someone get there. It's picked off by Obi. Obi Melifonwu with a chance to return. We ran right at someone. I expected a block to be there. I probably just should have taken the most guaranteed yardage. Obi Melifonwu the pick regardless. Now, I have easy reads on defense, right? On offense, not so much. Every game for Jimmy Garoppolo seems worse than the other one. And, like, I'm going to I'm gonna break this down in replay mode. Uh, this is a problem that I have consistently. Uh, and it's just, it's so bad. Check this out. Check this out, right? We got blocker out in front. 62 is Josiah Mahaffey. And we also have Kyle Juszczyk, one of the best fullbacks in the NFL. So he's running up to the next level and just takes a really weird angle. I'm not sure what that exactly was. Um, and Josiah Mahaffey, Mahaffey here, just, um, I don't know. He's right next to Jatavis Brown, just runs right fucking past him. It's like two guys had the same assignment and no one blocked anybody. Yeah, it's so annoying to consistently see that when we should have space to the outside. That's a boomer inside the 20. We're likely not going to be able to get there, though. What is Akella Witherspoon doing? Can someone tackle Travis Benjamin? He just juked out my entire team, spun out some other fellas. Not good. I'm going to keep coming out in hard flats because that's the area they like to go the most. Oh, couldn't get there in time. If I have Reuben Foster, probably get there. But that's Ray Ray Armstrong. And uh, he's not that quick. Not that fast. Hard to cover that. He's running the ball. Get off the block! Uh, I hit him from behind, but... You know. Didn't get Joey Cummings. What? Third and six. Five seconds to go in the third quarter. We'll see if they actually end up snapping it. And they will not. Fourth quarter action coming up. We are up by 10. Eight minutes to play. And again, I might increase that time. Games are playing well, but I think a little bit more time would fare, fare us well. I'm going to shut it down. Oh, tried to get there with Ruben Foster. Played the interception. Melifon will get juked out. Slides across the field like he's playing baseball. Like he's a two-sport athlete like Bo Jackson or Dion. Maybe try being a little bit more like Dion Obi and um, play defense. Well, I guess Dion couldn't tackle either. Maybe not Dion. Definitely not Bo. He can play defense. Bo didn't play defense. Madden Ultimate Team he does, though. I get a Bo Jackson quarterback card. I understand that, right? Incredible arm. Never played quarterback as far as I'm aware. But it makes a little bit of sense as Aaron Lynch makes an incredible play. Um, had an absolute cannon. If you guys check him out for the Royals in right field. Unbelievable. Best athlete of all time, in my opinion. He's fast, big, strong. Never been a combination like it. Incredible arm. Could break time. I mean, he was just incredible. As Melvin Gordon spins out my team. What's new? That's the way this game works. Orleans Darkwa in the game now. We're going to have space up the middle. He gets lit up. By Jatavis Brown. He has not exactly been electric. Orleans Darkwa. But Joey Cummings having a fantastic game. Including a rush for 92 yards. That is a career long. We're going to go outside here. Oh my god. Kyle Juszczyk is the fucking worst. He is the worst. One man to block. And we would have had a ton more yards. Juszczyk is an absolute disaster sometimes. Almost all the... That's a great block right there. Um, I mean, it didn't end up working out. But, and when I say it's a great block, I mean, like, he made contact with the with a defender, at least, which is, is new for him. We're going to step up with Garoppolo. Uh, pressure was coming in, and I ran into a sack. Corey Legion. Poor possession. Poor possession. Still, no cornerback interceptions. I'm going to say that probably... Uh, at the start of every single drive where we 
Still don't have uh, an interception, but it's a safety. And that is the dagger, potentially. Eric Armstead gets the pressure. You know who doesn't get pressure ever? It is Solomon Thomas. He gets absolutely nothing. That kicks out of bounds. That's a flag. Let's give this a shot. We're going to go Janu over the top. Make the play. Oh, man, you got to throw the ball further downfield. Garoppolo having an absolutely terrible day. And again, yeah, I know who, who's using Garoppolo. It's me every play. So, some things I can't stop, right? And oh my goodness. Joey Cummings dropped the ball. And when I say dropped, he fumbled. Jimmy Garoppolo picked it right up and they whistled the play dead. Oh my god. He's gonna throw it. Someone. Oh my goodness, there's no way. There is no way Melvin Gordon just made that catch. Dude, Madden is ridiculous. All Madden is an absolute joke that that can happen in this situation. Now I'm sweating a little bit. No, I'm, I'm the same, but I'm, I'm still I'm mad about that. Um, that's absolutely ridiculous that that happened. That was extremely contested. That was not open. Phillip Rivers throws one of the best passes I've ever seen. Melvin Gordon turns into Randy Moss in his prime. Makes that play. Keep him in bounds. Rashard Robinson lights up his day. Never going to fumble the ball on all Madden. It's not going to happen. Go to flat again. Willis Burdine with a, a huge tackle there. If he gets juked out there... Um, that could be the game. 30 seconds to go. They're going to spike the ball. And that ball bounced off the foot of, a, of the center. Max to work. That, in theory, could have been picked off. I've never seen it happen, though. Um, Ruben Foster is off the field. This is not a good situation for us. On second and 10. And he's throwing it. Obi Melifonwu wraps up. They are on the 10-yard line, though. 20 seconds, no timeouts. We might want to dial up some pressure here. I just don't want to leave anything exposed. Touchdown essentially ends the game. That's over the middle! Touchdown, Hunter Henry. Oh, my God. What a drive. And they're going to go for two. We would have gotten an interception there and housed it. That would have been fantastic. This game is not over, though. 16 seconds, three timeouts. We are down by one. We are not going to return this. We have to figure a way to get down the field quickly. 25 on the 25. 16 seconds to go. Running the ball might be our best bet. How is the... I don't know what the win situation is like. They have a good secondary, man. We have three timeouts. Running the football is not the worst idea. We just got to be more effective than that. That killed three seconds and we got nowhere. We need an absolute miracle essentially to happen at this point. Something big's got to happen. We can't take a sack. Sack would pretty much end the game. And I pressed the wrong button. Janu Smith drops the ball. Oh, we're trying to, we're going to try the same play. Again, I'm worried about the pressure and fucking there it is. There's the pressure. It came so quickly. Joey Bosa wrecked. Fourth and 15. Can't really run Hail Mary here. Um, we're going to try... We're going to try a halfback screen. Really not ever effective, but um, Phillies are one shot. We just... We can't go the length of the field. And that, that sack was just such an absolute killer. Such a killer. There it is. Joey Cummings breaks the tackle. Jukes, there's nowhere to go. We're going to lose the game. Jimmy Garoppolo with another fucking terrible game. Because it's every time... I, It's either... It's a nice combo of me making mistakes and him not being able to do anything and sometimes. One interception, two touchdowns. I feel like that's a story of my life in this franchise with Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, Joey Cummings had a fantastic game. Touchdown, 147 yards. Fumbled the ball in a really critical spot, but it didn't end up costing us in that position. Marquise Goodwin had a great play, and uh, it really came down to the defense breaking at the end of the game. Two sacks allowed for Trent Brown. VJ Poole had one. Zach Kubiak allowed one. Defensively, Ruben Foster, 11 tackles, two for loss. 
Aaron Lynch had two for loss. Sacks, two and a half for Bosa, one for Chris McCain. Eric Armstead, Ruben Foster all had one half a sack for Aaron Lynch and Solomon Thomas. Pick for Obi, Melifonwu, and Ruben Foster. I don't think anyone forced to film on our team. Jatavis Brown on their team. And uh, no defensive touchdowns. But that is such a tough game to lose. And especially in that fashion. As we're going to drop to 2-3 two and three on the season. Playoffs do not appear imminent at this point. We're not going to worry though. We're not going to freak out. Next week we are facing the 2-3 and three Bears. We are not going to play that game against the... I should have scouted for sure. Um, but next game against the 2-4 and four Redskins... Also probably not going to play this game. I will scout, though. We're going to go ahead and simulate. Orleans Darkwa keeps becoming the starting running back. I'm not sure how. I have changed it on multiple occasions. He should never be in that position. Just should not be. Very frustrating that that keeps happening. But we are going to advance the week. Not playing the 2-4 and four Redskins is not a very fun or exciting game. And it is the bye week. We're going to re-sign Quan Alexander for sure. He's played very well for us. Quan Alexander's back in a deal. I also want Bradley Pinion. He's fantastic. I can't, re uh, can't negotiate with him right now. Eric Armstead, I would like back as well. Um, 24. We'll give him a five-year deal for a little bit less money. Let's try this. And it goes through. Eric Armstead returns. And we're not going to negotiate with anyone else right now. Bye week. Who do we come, or we'll see who we face coming out of the bye week, which will be next episode. We're going to be facing the 5-2 and two Packers. Not going to play that game either. Um, not a great one. We're 3-4 and four right now. I'm going to do some more scouting, and then we're going to simulate to week 10. All right, division matchup against the Cardinals will be the game that we played. They're 1-7, so it's not going to be a fantastic game probably, but we are already in week 10. Do some scouting, and I will see you guys for that episode coming up probably pretty shortly on the channel.